so much. My son is in Spanish too, I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's about that the things happen and never come back again. That's a little bit dramatic. <laughs> I'm sorry. My starting day, these boots are made for walking in the snow. <laughs> today. So, on the morning of March 25, 2014, I wake up with my entire body trembling. Very sweaty hands. The day of embarking on a new journey had come. I had waited until, almost until, the expiration of my visa to decide to move to Canada. Why could I leave my country, Cuba? With this man from such, so, <laughs> with this man from such a faraway land, London, many questions and a single answer: love. <laughs> After more than a year of a long distance relationship, we decided to get married. And happy, our little girl was born. <laughs> we understood why our path has crossed. And a few months later, I said yes to the adventure and to be immigrant. Immigrant. A word that from the first time I saw it, I stamped it in my passport. All this made me cry. I left behind my mother. The work I loved. My friends. And my library. Many diaries and finishes stories and my colorful homeland, Cuba. A large part of myself, which stayed on the island, enclosed in a dark room in Havana. But despite all my, all my fears, I, I was full of happiness and dreams to starting a new life with my husband and our first daughter. My arrival at Halifax, there, <laughs> airport, was very strange to me. The airport was smaller than I had imagined. The airport the red tape of immigration, incredibly fast, a part of the process by new machines without any human contact. <laughs> <Scary. laughs> until the end, the smiling officers who stamped my passport welcoming me. Please have planned carefully every detail for our arrival. He's Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> he left our old Volvo parked in an airport with two large bags with winter clothes <laughs> before going to Havana for us. The three of us entered the country together as we had dreamed. While my husband get the clothes from the car, I look out the matter of the snow, like today. <laughs> I wonder how that wild, white and great landscape could convince me to live in it. <laughs> a few minutes later, I went to the bus 
classroom with my daughter in my arms to change. The cubicle was so small that I could barely move. It made me think of those of my Cuba, but it was really clean. <laughs> I opened the back. My eyes couldn't escape the big gray boots and the huge coat. <laughs> <laughs> when Chris saw my upset face, whispering, Mother, mother, these boots are made for walking in the snow. <laughs> he said over and over until he left us in the bathroom door. And just, I just nodded and remembered Nancy Sinatra's famous song. <laughs> I stood half naked under the bright white light and took off my fine white cotton dress, human dress, <laughs> and put on a big gray sweater, a black thermal lace, two pairs, the black pants, and a big black coat. I could barely breathe. <laughs> My body began sweating, a different sweating. I felt I felt chilly lightning run through my body. I look around and I still have to change my shoes. I took off my beautiful sandals, human sandals, and put on the big gray boots. I heard it then. <laughs> they were ugly and heavy, very heavy, more heavy than my two suitcases for the boots. <laughs> A big escape. Big sign escaped me when I tied the last lace. Finally, in spite of all these governments, I left the bathroom almost levitating. <laughs> I felt as I, I I felt as I was in another person's body while walking to the exit. My husband said, welcome, and kiss my left hand with love. <laughs> I can never forget that with those big, ugly, gray boots, I took my first step in this beautiful life <laughs> that I now call home. Thank you.